Hey, welcome. This is Pastor Paul John on Hope and I want us to go right into the program. I have an amazing guest here with me from Chennai and you will be blessed. Watch this right now. Welcome to your season of hope. Well, praise the Lord. I am excited. I am glad. I am delighted. Today we have yet another guest all the way from India. She is, uh, she is a pastor, a beautiful lady, pastor, mom, and above all, a trusted minister of, of the Lord. I've known her late husband, Pastor Samuel, a great man. He went to be, the, uh, he went to be with the Lord a few uh, years ago. And this is the first time I'm meeting his wife, Pastor Cynthia. So I want you to all welcome my guest, Pastor Cynthia, right here on Hope. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you know, you. I must just say, when I met your husband four years ago, it was here in, oh, in, in this place. city, okay. but in another studio. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were talking yeah. and we, I got to speak so much Tamil with <laughs> he him. He's very fun loving. <laughs> oh, he is. He is. Oh, he and, is. Uh, and, 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 and. Uh, and it was such a great time. And, you know, he, 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 he knew my uncle oh, very yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rajivan. And we were talking about that. And I'm so, I'm so glad to have met you. And Same in fact, though, I just met you pleasure. two, three hours ago. Yes, such a thank pleasure. You. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Glory to God. And, you know, I just want to ask you, how do you like Sweden? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, that's what I was saying, telling other people the other day. Yeah. I feel at home. Yeah. Because the warmth of the people, mm, the how mm. they you know treat you, yes. it doesn't happen everywhere. No, <laughs> no. Swedish people are very, very so warm. Nice. Yes, so true. I yes. feel very es true. Especially the Christians. Absolutely. And that's that's something when I they felt. show the real love of God. Exactly. <laughs> And, and no matter where we go in the world, mm. when we meet a brother or a sister, we, we find that in yeah, Christ. Yeah. And, you know, as I, was, as I was just mentioning to you earlier, I want to read a mm -hmm. verse of scripture. Okay. And I would like for you to uh, just, just share on it. Sure. And uh, this is found in the roots, the book of Ruth, chapter number two. Hey, listen. This, this episode is going to change your life. Amen. This is not just words. We're going to listen. The Holy Spirit has prepared this. Jesus. The Holy Spirit has, 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 has set an appointed time for you. Amen. This is your season of hope, and you are coming out of bondage and walking right into what God has already completed on your behalf. Amen. So get ready, get ready, get ready. As Pastor Cynthia <laughs> gets on this, you know, I just heard what she had to say. My, 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 you are in for something special. Amen. In the book of Ruth, chapter number 2 and verse number 11. Mm -hmm. This is right where Ruth, uh, on the instruction of her mother-in-law, mm. uh, Naomi, she would go to Boaz's field and she would be one among the reapers, mm. you know, picking up leftovers. And Naomi would instruct her, go pick up those leftovers. And as she followed that instruction, as she followed a simple instruction, something was going to take place. She was going to get noticed by the one that could redeem her. Amen. And guess what? He noticed, Boaz notices her. And he says in verse 12, I'm sorry, verse 11, Boaz answered and said to her, it has been fully reported to me mm. all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband and how you left your father and your mother, the land of your birth, and I've come to a people whom you did not know. The Lord, here is the, here is the point, verse 12. The Lord will repay your work. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. And a full reward. Pastor, full, full reward. reward. Yes. God doesn't give half reward. No, not at all. No installments. No, hey, hallelujah. No <laughs> installments. It's always complete. Yes. yes. A full reward, he says. A full reward mm. be given you by the Lord God of Israel Amen. under whose wings you have sought for hallelujah. refuge. Hallelujah. Many times we think, Pastor, 
oh, I don't know what, everybody left me. Maybe God will know. I'll just, you know, go mm -hmm. by and by, mm -hmm. just be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. But that's not, that's not your experience, true, right? True, very true. Would you like to share a yeah, little bit? Yeah, definitely. Uh, as you were reading the verse, uh, you know, uh, as, and, and you stressed on the point that she went and picked up the leftovers. Yes. So we see Jesus, when he comes into this world, he said, I've no, I have not come to come for the people who are really healthy. Mm. I have come for the sick. Yes. So they might feel that they are leftovers, mm. right? So here, uh, like uh, preachers and pastors and people who give the word of God, they give instructions. God's word gives mm. instructions yes. to us. And when we follow those words, like yes. in this place, we can take Naomi yeah. as the instructor. Yes from where we get the word. Yes. And Ruth follows the instructions yes. given by her. Yes. And she goes and picks up the leftovers. Mm. And she did it with all her mind, with yes. all her soul. She didn't have any strings attached to it. She exactly followed the mm. instruction. But I think that's very important for us. Right? Yes. As Isn't persons. that amazing? That, 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 that's exactly what, you know, as I was reading it, I was going to, but then I had to. But thank you for bringing it up because many times in, mm -hmm. I think that is the hardest part. Exactly, it's very hard. But when we do that, we get the reward, yes. the full reward. Yes. So full it's reward. very hard to mm. obey. And you and the best part was I liked it. She did simple things. You no. stressed on that as well. Yes, yes. So picking up was very, very simple. Yes. And uh, for if we take Christianity, mm. we do not have to take a sheep and offer mm. or take coconuts and offer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Very simple. Mm -hmm. Just come to the Lord's presence, yes. read the Bible, pray, yes. obey His commands. That's yes. it. Very, very That's simple. It. That's it. You need not go and, you know, take a goat or a cow and, yeah. you know, take coconuts. Yeah. And, you know, we don't have to perform. Not at all. Yeah. All that he needs is a heart. Yes. A truthful heart, an innocent heart. Yes. She gave it all. Yeah. And so, that, that is so, that is so, that is so, what you say, key. Exactly. I, I often say the, ins the simple instruction you follow. Yes. Opens we lead to the glorious. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. Our reward, mm. our harvest, exactly. our desire, whatever mm, we be, mm, mm. is on the other side Absolutely. of the simple instruction mm. we follow. Absolutely. Now, now, Pastor, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if our, you know, this we are, we have viewers from all over the place, mm -hmm. and and and. And some of them are really in, really in tough, going through tough times. Yes, yes. I think uh, uh, exactly like Ruth, yeah, yeah. Naomi, when you see her, Naomi was a very wealthy lady. Yes. She was recognized by everybody in mm. her place. She had everything. Mm. But suddenly, yeah, she loses her husband, she loses her sons. sons. And she lost one of her do uh, daughter in law she as went, well. Went yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's only one left. Yeah. And how difficult it would have been. Of course. She and said, don't call me Naomi anymore, call me Mara. Yeah, I'm filled with bitterness. Yes. That's what she said. Mm. And uh, the same for Ruth as well. She mm. also became a widow. Yes. I think it would have been really tough. Really yeah. tough. Yes. But I think God chose her and, mm. you know, she made her go. Mm. She made her do work. She mm. made her go out into the field. Yes where people were poor, people yeah. of different things. I think when she was doing that, people would have, some people would have mocked at her. Of course. Some people would have said, oh, not bad, she's come. Mm. You know, different mm. uh, energies would have come that way. Mm. But she just listened to the instruction. Hey, man, come on, yes. It's wonderful. I used to think about Ruth. <laughs> wow. Yeah. She used to be a beautiful lady. Yes. How many things people would have spoken about her mm. Maybe she said, maybe I, I think maybe if she was an Indian, they would have said, oh, she didn't have any other place to go. Mm. So that's why she's here. Mm. But God, mm. you know, the, uh, she was among the poor people who were just speaking. Yeah. Uh, and I think the scripture also says they used to leave some grains just for just those poor for, people to yes. pick up. Yes, yes. People just who for didn't have food. anything. Yeah. yeah. So she was among that category. She was here, top. Mm. And she's come down and she was among that category. Mm. But since she was true, mm. 
since she listened to the instruction, mm -hmm. since she just left it and came exactly. to you know provide <laughs> yeah, exactly. for herself yes. and her mother-in-law, mm -hmm. she got a reward. Praise the Lord, and full she, reward. And she became yes the mistress there. Yes, exactly. So what a reward it was. Praise the Lord. People who would have mocked at her would have like. Yeah. They would have been surprised. Wow. wow. And, and <laughs> God lifts you wherever you God are. God changes not only your history, mm. He also changes your destiny. Amen. So that where what He has planned mm. can come to pass. Absolutely. And go and stepping away from here, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of this passage in Romans, mm. and I'm sure you're familiar mm -hmm, with it. Mm -hmm. Two verses of scripture out of chapter 8, it, it would say this, He who spared not his own son, yes. Yes, yes. but delivered him mm. up for us all, mm, mm. how shall he not, yes. along with him, absolutely, absolutely, freely give us mm. all things. Amen. Amen. And later it would say, if God be for us, who, who can, can be, be against, against us? us? Yes, yes, yes. So this is what I believe we, we as Christians, you're a preacher, you're a pastor in Chennai. What's the name of your church? Christian Life Fellowship. Christian, if you're watching in Chennai, go to Christian Life Fellowship. Hey, you, you, gotta, you gotta listen to this pastor <laughs> preach. Praise the Amen. Lord. Glory so, to God. So if God is with us mm. and God says, God says, instruction. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you stick with me, mm, mm, mm. I will bring the world to you. Amen. Amen. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And, and the same God also says, with his son, mm, mm. he has already given us freely Amen. all things. Exactly, exactly. I used to think, you know, even uh, John 3, 16, God gave his only begotten son, son that whosoever believeth in him shall not have, perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. I have a son, so mm. I think I would be able to connect. Mm. I was able to connect. Because to, before you get married or before you have children, you wouldn't connect with mm. that. So even if my son gets, you know, he just falls down and he just scratches mm. his mm. knee, like, oh my God, mm. he's not feeling well. You know, we just go on. He's yeah. a, a small fever or a yeah. cold would just hit you then. You just cannot sleep mm -hmm. and you are always on the, on the go looking if he's okay. Mm. But the God of heavens mm. gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Not for him to have a nice time here. No, in fact, he did not. <laughs> oh, God. He started yeah. preaching at 12. Yeah. And he was going around meeting difficult people. Mm -hmm. He came for the difficult. So meeting such kind. And at the end, when you see he was crucified, which mm. is... Oh my God, <laughs> I just can't even imagine. He went through so much and when he looked up and he just, you know, turned his face, that's mm. what we see in the scripture. Mm. Mm. So that pain, yeah. that pain is yeah. actually beautifully told. Oh, oh the yes, heavenly oh, father yes. Oh, yes. You know, oh yes. If he just turned his face uh. when he was going through this. Mm. So when he gave his only begotten son, can we, can we do that? No way. We can't. We can't. We, I don't think I can leave my son even somebody's house for like one month. Or mm. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do yeah. that. Because you love him so much. Yes. You think you are the best caretaker. Yes. So yes. when he could give his only begotten son mm. for us mm -hmm. to take away all the sins and for us to just be free. Mm. And all that God says, he says, don't do this, don't do that. All that is fine. He just says, you at least live a life pleasing. If you can't mm. do that or if you can't do this, he just says, do, just please let your life be pleasing to me because yes. you see David mm. he just lived a life pleasing, pleasing to, to the God. Lord yes and David and was, he was a, a man <laughs> after his God's heart. Own heart. I, exactly yes. yes so how wonderful it is yes. you know? that is so true and 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 it's interesting that you picked up on David because because you know David was a man after God's mm, own heart mm, he mm. was pleasing unto the Lord exactly. and and God told David you shall not lack Amen. Yes, absolutely. a son yes, yes. on the throne Amen. forever. See how beautiful he got yes. us. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. It's like and, and most of the times, I think, I, wanna, I, I, I don't want to switch though, but I want to mm -hmm. take a side route and come back. Mm -hmm. Many times, how we view God mm -hmm. Yes. is usually 
how our consequences of our life. If we think that God is mad at us, mm. God is out there to beat us. No. He's out there this and he's this and he's that or he's tra da 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 da. But if, if that's our view, if if religion has put that on us, mm, 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 mm. we would only religiously perform. Absolutely, it'll just be a tradition. Yes, absolutely. But if we, we see experience. Oh, exactly. wow, he's such, you want smallest, smallest things, mm. you know. I, I just think, oh, oh it'll be nice if they sing the song. Yeah. It is just, a th I wouldn't have even uh, mm. opened my mouth and, say, and they'll be singing that song. <laughs> like the smallest, smallest things. So yes. how wonderful. He knows even the desire or even before you think he knows what yes, it is. exactly. So such a God. So I don't think, I think uh, God says, he just put it, everything on me mm. and you do be at peace. In Exodus yes. 14, 14, yes. he says, mm. I'll fight for you and I'll you be at for peace. You. Yes. For example, if I say, uh, uh, Pastor John, why don't you just take this candle and keep it there? Mm. I tell you and I do it. So yeah. you don't have anything to do there. Exactly. So when we say, Lord, I give it to you, you please take care of this. Mm. And if I keep, uh, or if somebody's uh, you know, uh, mad at me and we have mm. some uh, vengeance going on and, uh, God, uh, and they are doing something against you and God says, I will fight for you. Mm. He says, I will fight for yes. you. And if we keep fighting, we don't allow God to fight there. Exactly. God says, vengeance is mine. Yes. You be at peace. Yes. You just Amen. do whatever you're doing. Yeah. So I think we just need to practically Amen. Be, just follow. Just <laughs> and, no, and, and no need to think too much also. That is... That is <laughs> What do you say again? Say that again. No need to think too much. Exactly. <laughs> no need to think too much. Yes. Be but safe. rest. Exactly. Rest, rest in his promise. Amen. In rest peace. Rest in, in peace. <laughs> Amen. And, and I was thinking about that when you say, mm -hmm. right, that, you know, for us, oh, come on, you got, don't, 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 don't turn this off now. Many of you that are thinking spiritual warfare and this and that, you know, this is going to be your warfare to stay in peace. Amen. Exactly. Exactly. Because if the, if the enemy can get you out of peace, he's got you. Yes, yes. Be yes. Then he's going to have you move everything. Mm -mm. And he knows that, you know, yeah. you can't do that. Yes, yes. Because that's why I think it's wisdom mm -mm. to obey. Absolutely. The it's, instruction. Yes. <laughs> the Lord. Yes. Amen. Wisdom to follow a simple instruction. Absolutely. Naomi could have said, well, I'm not going to go out today. Mm, mm. Naomi could have Ruth. said, well, uh, sorry, Ruth could have said, uh, uh, Ruth said, well, I'm not going to go out today. Uh, Ruth could have said, well, do you think I'm going to go out and how people are going to, exactly, mm. how, how, you don't know how, what they are talking exactly. about. Exactly. Mm. She, and it would have been valid. Mm, mm. Absolutely. But in spite of it all. Oh, she went. She went. So that's the best thing yes. because, uh, you know, that's how God, if God is working in you, you mm. can see that he can take you out of it Yes. as if nothing has happened. Hey. That's how he works because hey. now, uh, you, uh, since I'm a pastor, I was actually thinking during the COVID, mm. even before COVID started, mm. Mm. I wanted to actually start tailoring classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free tailoring classes for women. Uh -huh. And uh, the main key is uh, I wanted to tell because many lost their husbands during mm. COVID mm. and many are like, you know, oh, what to do, we don't have money mm. and, you know, so many things, you know, yes. what women go through. So I wanted to give a hope to them mm. saying that is not the end. There mm. is so much more. He's just a physical partner who left you. Mm. But it's not that it's over. No. God can fill the place. Yes, yes. And he can take you through yes. even more better and beautifully. Yes. If he is your partner, wow, yeah, <laughs> what else yeah. do we need? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was just thinking. Mm. And uh, uh, because when I, uh, I, I had a church in one place mm. and the rent was too high, I couldn't mm. handle mm. it. So I wanted to move it to a different place. Mm. So I was, and I had only one week to shift. I finished the service on Sunday. Next service, I need to have it another place and mm. I didn't have a place then. Mm. Mm. So I was searching, searching, searching and uh, people, when you go for uh, you know, a hall, people think yeah. Christians are too loud. They make too much of noise. <laughs> Indian Christians are loud. <laughs> <laughs> so they think that way, so they don't, didn't and want. And we are not ashamed of being not loud. At, not at all. Yeah. So I used to say we usually do a soundproof, so yes, mostly the right. sound doesn't come mm -hmm. out, and uh, <laughs> it was like that. So and uh, I 
uh, it was just one week, so I kept searching and I didn't know what to do. And one morning, uh, uh, before I could, uh, you know, get out of the house, I just took the Bible and I read, uh, I think it's Psalm 134, and God beautifully uh, says that I will find, a, you will not rest today before you find a place for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, uh, uh, and it's, it'll be mentioned, she, she, she mm. there, you know. And it was like, talking to me directly wow. and he says I will take care of the poor with you and you'll do this and that it was so beautiful mm. I was like after that I didn't even worry I went I got a place for church that day mm -hmm. and uh, I, I told him I was like sitting next to him yeah. and I was like uh, we usually don't make much noise so you can yeah. be over he was like no, 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 open all the windows so that everybody in the surrounding know that there is a church. Praise the Lord. Wow. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Wow. So that's the kind. So I moved into that place yeah, yeah. and, you know, God beautifully. So, and uh, after going there, and that's when I thought, God, the instructions, the promises that God gave that mm. the poor with you mm. will be, you will be able to mm. suffice mm. them and you will be able to. So after I got this tailoring classes mm. in my, it was always in my thoughts. So I got to, uh, uh, what do I say? Uh, um, uh, old machines, oh, old machines, machines. Okay. yeah, old sewing machines. Mm. So I got them and I put them, but I couldn't start it because of COVID. But later on, I, that was always there. Yeah. I have to do this, but I'm not able to do this. But so then uh, churches started in 2021. And then it just was going and uh, this was there in my mind. And I joined a prayer group and uh, they asked me, what is your wish and what you like? I said, I want to do this for women. I want to give them hope yeah. that God is there. Nothing ends. You know, something happens in your life. It doesn't end there. No, it doesn't. You still have to go on and Praise God is all your hope. Yes. So uh, that's, and mm. uh, he said, oh, okay, good. So I'll get you some machines. And he got me like four sewing machines, new mm. ones. And uh, later on, uh, I think uh, it's just like in a week, you know, two days again, another, uh, my church member, he brings a lady and she says, oh, you can do that. And uh, I will try to get government certifications for the people who finish classes. In Praise the God. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is happening? So I was wow. like, so, so happy. Yes. And uh, so this is all, it's just like all coming up. I was, yeah. could feel it. And uh, in another day, just uh, next day, I think there was another lady. She says, uh, I will give job opportunities for the ladies who come to your place. <laughs> this is like, amazing. I was like, I wanted to give hope for people and people yeah. are giving hope to me yeah, now. And I'm like, yeah. so happy. But I was not able to start. I didn't get a fine day. I didn't know when to start, how to start and all that. And uh, we, I, go, I had a reunion with my school mm. and uh, there was one friend who came from Australia and uh, he was, uh, you know, he was just talking about, he's also Christian there from Christian families. So he was saying, what are you doing? So I was talking about this and he's like, why don't you start? Yeah. Start the next week yeah. and uh, let's give biryani, button biryani to everybody oh, who comes. Wow, wow. Like, oh, then the yeah. God says, go. Yes. <laughs> so I started and uh, we had a very, I, there were so many Muslims who came mm. to the church and so many Hindus who came. Mm. They came with the parda, they came there. They, we had uh, games for the ladies, yes, we yes, had games yes. for women and they were so happy. Mm. Uh, actually, there was, a, uh, there was somebody else supposed to talk on that day and she was not able to come. And I spoke very, very I didn't prepare mm. anything. I spoke mm -hmm. very, very casually. Mm -hmm. And they said, because, uh, you know, because we came here and hear you speak, we want to come even more. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm like, oh, praise the Lord. Wow, praise and God. And it's going on now. Praise the Lord. So, where is your church? Where in Chennai is your uh, church? Padi. Padi. Manur Pet Padi. Friends, if you are in Chennai or even if you visit Chennai, visit, visit, visit yes, Pastor Sincere's church. Yes, <laughs> and you will be so filled with the joy of the Amen. Lord. And Pastor, it's been a blessing having you here. Glory to God. And thank you. Thank you. Thank so you much. for coming. Such a and, pleasure. And and if if you just you know we just have we just have a minute or so. Okay. Uh, we have people watching from mm -hmm. all over. Yes. So if there's anything that you would like to share, would yes, you please do that? Definitely. Just look into that camera there and. Yes. Just for a minute. Such a Go joy ahead, to talk to all of you. And uh, as the title of this program is Hope, God is your only hope. <laughs> yeah. Pe nobody, people can say anything. I will help you. I will do this. I will be with you. Anybody can say anything. They mm. can fail. God never fails. Amen, amen, amen. He is always there right beside yes. you. Only thing is you need to feel mm. 
that you are God's child. You need to feel that he's right next to you. You need to feel that he's inside of you. Yes. Just keep talking to him. You will enjoy, you will enjoy the gifts, the things that you're going to see. You will enjoy the desires of your heart Amen. coming true. Amen. And you will be your hope to other people who Hallelujah. are suffering. God will lift you up in that amen. manner. God bless all of you. Amen and amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pastor, would you like to pray as well? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Just pray over that word that you spoke. Father in heaven, we thank you, we thank praise you, you, we glorify your name. Lord Jesus, we submit all the viewers who are watching into your holy yes, hands. Lord. Lord, we pray, oh Father God, that you be the hope of their lives. Yes. Lord Jesus, we do not know what they are praying for, mm. but you are God, mm. a God who gives everything on mm. time mm. according to your will and plan. Hallelujah. And whoever prays, Lord Jesus, let their prayers be answered. Jesus. Let your love surround them. Yes, let your Lord. grace surround them, O oh yes, Father. Lord. Be a wall of fire around oh, them. Let yes, nothing, Lord. let nothing yes, that is against your will touch them or mm. enter into their hearts or mind in or into name. their family. Let every prayer be answered. In we Jesus. thank you. We glorify your name. In yes. Jesus' most mighty and matchless name I pray. Amen. 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 Glory thank to God. you, friends. God. God bless you. And I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Extra me Cynthia. Wow, hallelujah, praise the Lord, what a joy. That was just awesome, wasn't it, friends? Friends, it's time to close our program. But, I don't, but you know that I never close a broadcast without asking you to receive the Lord into your life. Just as Pastor Cynthia said, receive Jesus. He will grant the desires of your heart. Pray with me. Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me. Cleanse me. Receive me into your family. I boldly proclaim that Jesus is my Lord. Amen and amen. If you prayed that prayer, I want to welcome you into the family of God. Remember that you're an heir and a joint heir with Christ Jesus. God bless you. I'll see you again next week.